What's up everybody? Happy holidays. Welcome to the channel. So Merry Christmas. I'm feeling festive and uh, you know nothing says Christmas like like a sequel sweater. It says he's making a table. He's sorting it twice. Select all from contacts where behavior equals nice. I got this from my good buddy Joe Squire and his company Data Reaper Clothing. Uh, definitely check them out. But let's jump into it. Today we're talking about two data visualization giants. Tableau versus Power BI. Tableau versus Power BI. So I've used both of these tools professionally and they're both pretty great. They both have their pros and cons. They're obviously both industry standards. So keep watching. We're gonna compare these two tools and see uh, which is the best tool for you. I could already see in the comments, plenty of people saying, BI is better, oh, Tableau is better, you don't know what you're saying. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I've used both tools, pretty involved in the conversation about what's good for what, and I have a few thoughts on it, especially since I've used the tools both uh, professionally. Obviously, Power BI has more of the market share, um, but it's not a flawless tool. And there's some things that Tableau does better than Power BI. There's some things that Power BI does better than Tableau. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. First up, let's look at data manipulation. So data manipulation, you got some data, it's a little dirty, you gotta clean it up. What are you gonna do? So each of these tools has a way to take your data, prep and clean it. So let's talk about that. Power BI obviously has Power Query and Excel has millions of users. A lot of people are gonna be really familiar with Power Query. And so so that makes the integration to Power BI pretty seamless. You can use Power Query within the tool. Power Query is super powerful. Uh, and there's a lot you could do with it. It's built right in there to Power BI. Uh, so that's pretty tough to beat on its own. Tableau doesn't have anything built into it like that with the desktop version. And I think that's a problem. So Tableau is already more expensive than Power BI, just right out the gate. I wanna say Power BI is like $10 per user per month, uh, whereas Tableau is, is something like anywhere from 10 to, to $70 per month. So Tableau, again, they don't have any kind of prep tool within their application. You need to get Tableau Prep Builder. So that's an additional cost. So I've never used Tableau Prep Builder uh, myself, so I can't really speak to it that much, but it exists and it's a whole nother application. Whereas with Power BI, it's caked into the tool. So I gotta say when it comes to data manipulation, Power BI totally takes the W in this category. All right, next let's talk about ease of use. So both of these tools, they pride themselves on being user friendly and both of them are. Uh, they're industry standard tools for a reason. Uh, if you've ever used tools like MicroStrategy, which God, I have, and it is awful. Um, I don't even think uh, MicroStrategy is like fully supported anymore. Like it's a legacy tool and for good reason. It's, it's so awful. Um, but Tableau and Power BI, it's an industry standard for a reason. Uh, but let's talk about the ease of use. And I think there's a few different factors to consider when we're talking about ease of use. There's the UI, UX design, there's the learning curve, and there's the resources available. So personally, I like the interface of Tableau a little bit more than Power BI. Power BI just, it feels kind of clunky to me. I don't know, like I, I uh, it just doesn't feel like it's on par with the branding of the rest of the Microsoft products. I don't know, people are probably gonna attack me for saying that. But I think when you compare it to Tableau, I like the interface of Tableau more. It's very clean, it's very modern. Um, there's some things within Power BI that uh, just aren't super intuitive to me or it feels limited in some ways. Uh, we're gonna talk about design in a bit, but the malleability within the Tableau tool is the reason why you can create these intense and stunning visuals within Tableau. So even though I like the interface of Tableau more than Power BI, when you get to things like, like DAX or creating formulas, um, or even considering Power Query again, Power BI kind of edges out there because a lot of people coming from Excel are gonna have that experience. So, you know, Microsoft kind of dominates the market in a lot of areas and sort of has this unfair advantage, but they have incredible tools. So people coming from Excel into Power BI might find it 
easier to work with because they have this experience in Excel. DAX measures are really similar to formulas within Excel. And with Tableau, you're kind of starting from scratch when you're creating calculated fields. I mean, there's similarities to other coding languages, but it's sort of its own thing. Maybe someone out there is, is gonna correct me and say that it's exactly like this other kind of coding language. But for me, it was it's kind of new, getting used to calculated fields, level of detail expressions, all that within Tableau. So that, to me, is a bit more of a learning curve. So it's hard to say which one like wins in this category. I think I would like barely say Power BI, uh, just for the same reasons as before, like people coming from Excel to Power BI might find it easier to use. But now let's talk about creating visuals and dashboards. So this is where it really gets fun. Tableau is like the artist of the data world. I mean, the, the stuff that you can do in Tableau is really incredible. You can make some insane visuals. You can make stuff that looks really good. I mean, you can make data visualizations that don't even look like data visualizations, but still say something and still tell you something because they're just so beautiful. And that goes back to what I was saying earlier about how flexible Tableau is. Uh, it, it excels in a lot of areas that Power BI is kind of limited, and that's why you can create such incredible visuals within Tableau. Power BI, on the other hand, it feels more like Instagram's like editing features or it's like if you were using Canva to edit something as opposed to like a professional platform. Power BI, again, like it's a little clunky. Uh, you're a little bit limited. Even aspects that feel like they should be really straightforward, intuitive or obvious or just not as easy to pull off in Power BI. Like one example, and this one drives me nuts, is um, date abbreviations. There's not a feature to just like change the month to the abbreviated format. You have to literally create an entire new table that's a super calendar that has those already built in so that you can then uh, choose that as a visual metric for your chart. Like it's so dumb. Whereas in Tableau, you really can just choose to abbreviate your month. Like it's that easy. There's other things I've come across that are like that. It seems like it should be really straightforward, but Power BI doesn't have a solution. So you have to find some kooky workaround to make it happen. And Tableau just has more flexibility there. I will say that I like in Power BI that you can manually resize visuals. In Tableau, it's like, it's like this snap to grid kind of interface where you, you can only like plug it into a certain part of the dashboard and you have to kind to move them around to get what you want. That can get a little, a little hard to work with. Uh, it's nice because it keeps everything really evenly spaced. And in Power BI, everything doesn't always fit. And so you have to go into the editor and make sure it's like the exact number of, like the specification is the right number so that it all aligns correctly. It just feels a little overly complicated. But I'd say that both overall, when it comes to just creating visuals are pretty user friendly, if I'm being perfectly honest. Which, by the way, if you have already feel free to give this video a like and a little hit the little subscribe button there help me out in supporting this channel thank you very much um, but overall if I had to give the win to one of these two applications it would hands down be Tableau I mean it's really difficult to compete with Tableau's visual capabilities now we're gonna talk about community and sharing your work so community is pretty huge with Tableau they have Tableau public they have the whole Tableau community with Tableau ambassadors Tableau is really good good at bolstering their community. They have the viz of the day. It's pretty great. And to my knowledge, Power BI doesn't have anything that comes close to that. The Tableau public feature in general is why I typically recommend Tableau to brand new data analysts or people trying to break into the field because you can upload your work really easily. They make it really easy to share with Tableau public and kind of have your own built-in portfolio to the Tableau platform. And Power BI doesn't have anything like that. My opinion, Power BI needs to get with it and uh, create something like that. So I think in general, when it comes to community, again, Tableau totally takes the win and it's because they invest so much into their public platform and with the acquisition tableau by salesforce that only got pushed further so if you've been keeping score so far we have uh, two for power bi two for tableau we're tied right now in the next category we're going to talk about is integration and expansion so both tableau and power bi they work pretty well with various data sources you can connect to a lot of different things but power bi is especially snug when it comes to azure certain sql databases 
devices. And it's a natural extension if you're already in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Again, this is another area where just uh, the ecosystem that Microsoft has built makes it tough to compare in certain categories because if you're using all these Microsoft applications already, it's just gonna fit into that really nicely. So if we take another look at the score, that's three for Power BI, two for Tableau. So Power BI is the winner if we're gonna name a winner. So claps for Power BI. Congrats, Power BI, good job. Uh, and it makes sense, right? Power BI has more of the market share and it has that for a reason, but that doesn't knock Tableau in any way whatsoever. I mean, it was really close. Like I, it's, it's really close. So Power BI is the winner, but Tableau is still an incredible tool and I really love using Tableau. So if you really like the creativity aspect of data visualization, which I do, I'm, I'm like a, a data viz guy. So uh, in many ways I prefer Tableau over Power BI. Uh, but overall, it's important to remember that the tool that works best for you, but seamlessly fits into your workflow. And that could be true of Tableau, it could be true of Power BI. Uh, but both, both are really great. It really comes down to what works for you, the ease of use for you, the things that you value in a data visualization tool. Just please don't use MicroStrategy or tools like that. They're, they're just garbage. Uh, but there you go. Power BI, Tableau comparison. Let me know which tool you prefer better in the comments. And if there's anything I left out of the video that I should have talked about, again, feel free to mention that in the comments and have some discussion there. And if you're interested in learning all the steps that it takes to become a data analyst, definitely check out my data analyst roadmap video for a full walkthrough of what I did to go from zero to data analyst. Also have my free data skills tracker linked in the description below. But I hope you, hope you enjoyed the vid. Feel free to like and subscribe. Happy holidays everyone and uh, see you on the next one.